Hey everybody. Um, so, I thought I'd show you something I made today. Um, I was having trouble with my leather um, stripper, or whatever they call them, um, to reduce the thickness of your leather. Um, when I was making my holsters, and that, uh, I couldn't pull pull the all the leather through that I needed to thin it down in this little this little thing um, this is a six inch I believe it is um, yeah I don't have it. here's the tape yeah this is a basically cutting area is about four and a half four and a half inches is what this one is um, and I needed, I needed more, um, more room to be able to pull the, that amount of leather through. So I checked it out, and most of them are going for, I mean, they're a little fancier than what I made, but they're going for anywhere from two to four hundred dollars. Um, and I didn't have that money to spend, so. I made this today, um, and I thought I'd show you here. Um, this is the one that I made. Um, basically, cutting area is eight inches, is what it ends up being. Um, I used um, I used the spring that was in here that pulls the wheel back to hold, hold pressure up as you're pulling through and um, I used the adjustment screw down here in the bottom I'll um, move this camera here and then you can see a little better hopefully um, what I'm talking about okay so there it is um, I'm gonna pull a piece of leather through here um, so you just stick this in the spring pulls back on this this um, bar right here and that pulls pulls back in there so I just stick that in there and pull back and it strips the leather down to whatever thickness you want um, or you need so it just shaves that shaves that off um, I guess I could show you a little bit how I made it um, here's see if I can get over top of this a little better um, a little weird looking at it that way um, Okay, so what I did for the blade, the blade is um, a piece of 1095 that I had for knives, um, and I heat treated that, tempered it. Um, so um, I went to the hardware store and got these screws. Allen screws and that just pops right off of there and that's the thing I made the bevel and everything on my sander cut the grooves out with a grinder and a cut off wheel um, this the move this over here a little bit um, zoom in here Okay, this is a spring that I used off of the other the other one, and then I'll show you the adjustment screw down here. Um, this is just angled, comes up and is bent right back here, comes across and down, and then a piece of, is welded on here. This um, this was three quarter inch cold rolled, and I took it down on my lathe um, turn the ends down I have a 
just a little lathe and it, it's not real solid on the for the tooling stand and left a little bit of chatter marks in there but I have it cleaned up pretty good for what I need it to do and then this these screws here go in and keep your adjustment on on this um, see if I can move this down without bouncing this camera too much for you okay um, so there's um, that adjustment screw that moves that bar up and down um, and that uh, allows you to take whatever thickness you want out of it so yeah so I just thought I'd show you this um, again the blade goes in like that I left the blade um, this is like two inches I left the blade a little bit wider um, just because of I wanted more stability in the blade being it's uh let's see what I'm doing here um, just because of the the width of the cutting area I wanted more stability in that blade so I just left at uh, at, at two inches um, that's what the steel was originally anyways so I didn't have to cut that um, so I guess move this camera back here um, so yeah so I just thought I'd show you see if I can take this back up here quick um, my battery lights flashing but anyways um, just thought I'd show you show you this um, it's kind of a neat little tool um, rather than spending you know two to four hundred dollars plus shipping and tax and everything um, I just made my own um, you know it's kind of nice to be able to do that stuff um, God's definitely blessed me with the ability to, to do stuff like that so um, yeah so I just thought I'd show you this hope everybody's doing well and I just uh, take care and God bless you